Hello, Alex Kolosko is here and I'm going to show you uh, how to convert any type of RAW files, camera RAW files, into something that's uh, readable for by most of applications and the most important by Adobe applications. Lightroom, Adobe Bridge, Adobe Photoshop, and uh, not even the latest version of Photoshop, but uh, I'm going to use CS6 Photoshop, not even the cloud version, uh, and uh, it works completely fine. Uh, with this. I'm talking about digital RAW converter. Okay, this is a completely free software that uh, available for Mac or Windows platform and uh, you just go, the links to download is provided under this video on the page uh, that you watch in this video. This is the link for Adobe converter for Mac and this is for Windows. Okay, you choose the latest version, whatever is version it is just choose the latest, uh, download and install. I already did it. Uh, it's here, Adobe DNG Converter under Applications on Mac. And I'm going to show you how you can convert all the files that you have uh, on the packs that you downloaded to DNG format, okay? So what you do first, of course, you extract zip files. You download zip archives from the uh, splashes packs and uh, you extract them somewhere. If for some reason your zip file cannot be extracted, you get an error. It means that you downloaded not a complete file, but a download process was interrupted and uh, you basically got the partial download. You just delete that zip file and download it again. We tested all the links, all the zip files, uh, if downloaded completely, are opened, can be opened uh, by any um, well, it's built in into Windows or <coughs> Mac. The extractor, archive extractor is built in. So you should have any problem opening the file. After you open the file, uh, put all the images uh, that you want to convert that can be read by your application, let's say by Adobe Photoshop that you have for some reason, even though it should be read because if you update your camera raw converter, that's built in in the, uh, ad yeah, camera raw converter, that's built in into Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom, it will be opened, but in case you have outdated version. Uh, so there is a folder, right, where I put some of the files are MOS, M-O-S, this is a phase, uh, no, it's a leaf, yeah, it's a leaf file uh, uh, from a medium format, and other files, FFF, this is Hasselblad. This is probably only two uh, file types that you might have a problem with. Uh, the, uh, the rest is CR2, uh, which is Canon, should have no problem. And again, it, it can be converted the same way. I just didn't put uh, them on the folder. But you do exactly the same as I do. You start Adobe RAW Converter. Let's start it. It's here, and double click. Okay, Digital Negative Converter. You select a folder, the source folder is here. You click and you select the folder. In my case, it will be TMP folder with all those files. I just click select. So it's set there. If you have subfolder there, you see you can even include images contained within subfolders. If you don't want to put everything into one big pile, it's okay. You can uh, just use the same structure as we have. Subfolders, it will pick up it. Not a problem. Then uh, skip source images if destination image already exists. That means if you have a previously converted some of the images, but not all of them, you can click this option and it won't process them again. It will just save time. So second option is to select the output location, where you want all the files, the converted files, uh, where do you, you want them to be stored. I choose save in the same location. You probably need to choose, uh, well, let's choose a different folder. Uh, let's create a new folder. Uh, called DNG, it will be easier. So inside our source folder, uh, I'm using DNG folder, okay? And uh, uh, let me unclick this one because I'm sure how it will work if we have subfolder inside the work folder. Okay, so we have this and uh, I'm not going to change a name, extension, it doesn't matter, and uh, compatibility, I actually didn't go there. You see, this is where you can choose the compatibility. Um, better to use the latest camera, RAW 7.1 is a good thing. That's what I have. You can choose uh, the previous com compatibility. If for some reason you don't want to update camera RAW, 
I, I have no reason, I mean, I cannot imagine why photographer or designer may use older camera raw converter, but in case you want, there is an option for you. You can choose it, okay? Uh, JPEG preview, uh, we don't need all this. So, I click convert. That's it. Even all the hundreds of images that you have will be converted by using one click. You just can go and uh, you know, do something else, enjoy your life. Maybe it will take one hour, maybe, but you don't do anything, it's just boom. If it would be 100 files, it would be just longer, but exactly the same way it will do it. Uh, let's go to our folder. Uh, this is our SOR files, this is our DNG, and you see everything is converted here. And all these files can be now opened by Adobe Photoshop. RAW. It's a RAW file. It's the same RAW file. It's called Digital Negative. Uh, it's from Adobe. And this is one of the standards now. DNG uh, should be read by almost any software. Okay. So uh, here we go. The file is opened. And uh, you can just click Open Image. And uh, Photoshop will open it. Now you can do whatever you want. Okay, so it will take just a few clicks. Once you install DNG Converter, it's completely free application. Uh, you can convert everything. Okay, we didn't do it because we want to make sure that we preserve exactly camera raw files. In case if some reason DNG may erase some data, camera specific data, we don't want to lose it. We want to deliver our customers exactly what we got in the camera and then you can do whatever you want with it. So DNG is probably a good way if you have any problems opening those files in somewhere else. Okay, and uh, this is it. Hope it will help you to work with our splashes. And uh, well, looking forward to see what you come up with uh, using the splashes. I'm sure there are tons of really cool ideas and well, possibilities that you can do and uh, do it and share with us, share on 40G Facebook group or on the 40G forum, or just send me email, uh, I'll be glad to look and uh, see what you come up with. Okay, so that's it, bye.